President Nemec, members of the Board of Trustees, honored guests, members of the faculty and administration, distinguished alumni, family, friends, and of course, my fellow members of the class of 2018. Good morning to you all. It is truly an honor to stand before you on this wet but joyous occasion. Today, we have an opportunity to gather and reflect on the mature, talented, and strong women and men we have become, and to cast our eyes on the promising futures that await each and every one of us. There's a term from the Nguni Bantu people in Southern Africa that I want to share with you today. I was introduced to it by a good friend years ago, and its very essence has completely enriched my life. It's a universal truth, a way of life, a philosophy that shapes world perspectives. It underpins the notion of an open and compassionate society. It's called Ubuntu. Ubuntu means I am me because of who we are. Ubuntu has taught me that while each of us is born an individual, we cannot become our best and most fulfilled selves without those around us. I can't be me without you, and you without me. Ubuntu has taught me that we live our lives navigating fluid relationships with others. We are inherently connected as teammates, as classmates, as teachers and mentors, as peers, as parents, as partners in relationships, and most genuinely, as people. Our experiences, emotions, triumphs and setbacks, ambitions and values are innately intertwined. Our beloved Fairfield University embodies Ubuntu, not solely as an educational institution, but as a community forged strengthened and sustained by the bonds of our Jesuit identity. Four years ago, as curious and eager first year students, we sat in these very same seats on a warm September afternoon during convocation and were introduced to a compelling new way of understanding ourselves in relation to the world around us. On that day, Dr. Yehuvi Williams, my mentor and former Dean of the College of Arts and Sciences, shared a powerful message. He said, water that sits becomes stagnant, but water that moves and flows, cleanses and brings life, circulates fresh ideas, even when it starts as a simple ripple. Dr. Williams challenged us to not find comfort dwelling in the frozen space of inaction and complacency, blind to our immense capacity for empathy, creativity, leadership and personal growth. Today, I can say with absolute confidence that we have met and far surpassed this call to action. Through the long nights spent editing papers in the library, the grueling early morning fitness tests in the Walsh Athletic Center, the hours of dance rehearsals in the Oak Room or the Recplex, the countless takes and retakes on student film sets, the acts of courage and solidarity standing up against social injustice at home and abroad. Through both our own individual pursuits and our collective achievements, we have built a culture of excellence on this campus. We have continued to seek our best selves both in and out of the classroom and together. We have fully embraced and embodied the Jesuit value modus, the pursuit of personal and communal growth. Think about this for a moment. Pam, pursuing her master's degree at Oxford University. Camille, starting a mentor program to provide resources and guidance to refugee students. Sydney, Megan, and Skyler, leading the volleyball team to a remarkable three straight conference championships. And Tyler, shattering the all-time scoring record in men's basketball history. Friends, these outstanding accomplishments are only a few examples of many, but they're a testament to who you are to who we are. These past four years have taught me that life is a perpetual evolution, an ongoing project during which we face many challenges that push us beyond what we believed were our limits. 
while today is certainly a day to rejoice and look ahead, we too are gathered here to reflect on the path we've taken to get to this point. There's a statue in front of the chapel depicting two versions of the Jesuit priest, St. Ignatius Loyola, facing one another. The word examine is etched below. This statue reminds us to appreciate the power of self-reflection, to be contemplative in action. Whether it was stepping out of our comfort zones by joining a student-led club such as FUSA, Remix, or Sweet Harmony, or making the daily trip from home to play an active role in campus life as a commuter student, or navigating a new and unfamiliar life, studying abroad in a foreign land such as China, Nicaragua, or Poland, or serving communities outside of our own, as far away as Tanzania and as close to home as Bridgeport, friends, we have internalized and put into practice the mission of this great institution. We stretched our minds pursuing innovative research projects with Drs. Hold and Meisnikowski, cultivated our skills in teamwork, time management, and problem solving, working for Deloitte, Congressman Jim Himes, and the American Red Cross. We fundraised tens of thousands of dollars to support action against cancer through Really for Life. We represented the true meaning of stag spirit as tour ambassadors. And we experienced tremendous shared pride at the many successes of our championship softball, swimming and diving, men's soccer, women's lacrosse, rowing, field hockey, and volleyball teams. You, the members of the class of 2018, have personified the cornerstone of a Fairfield education. Now, before you walk up these steps and proudly grab your diploma, I want to leave you with a quote from the Greek philosopher Socrates, whose words the Jesuits hold with great reverence. We, as human beings, are born for the sake of other beings, that we might be able mutually to help one another. This is our calling. This is the charge Fairfield University has prepared us to face and overcome. This is what it means to be women and men for others, to live, love, and lead through community. Take a moment to look at the person sitting to your left and to your right. Cherish them. This moment. This space, these relationships. Because when we leave this campus today, the challenges we will encounter in this life will be real. They may push us to our limits, but remember the community we hold dear has given us the strength to strive and to prosper, even in the most arduous and discouraging times. To have the courage to see failure not as inadequacy, but rather as a chance to grow and thrive. Though we will go on to craft our own individual narratives, we will always be united as brothers and sisters in this extraordinary Fairfield family. Remember, I am me because of who we are. And we are strong, gifted, and compassionate. And now, we are graduates of Fairfield University. And together, we are Ubuntu. Class of 2018, you did it. Congratulations, and may God continue to bless Fairfield University. Thanks up.